G'day folks, just thought I'd do a quick video on this direct current 24 volt motor that I picked up out of the rubbish bin a while ago. Uh, 2000 RPM, 30 amps, 600 watts, DC 24 volt. Uh, this one's had a pretty rough life. This front bearing's had water inclusion in it and it's just well, pretty rough. It would have been howling its head off when it was running. Com bars were badly damaged and scored. I've managed to turn a bit off and polish the rest up so it's in serviceable order. Uh, worst problem was this lagging tape which is coated in like a silicon grease or something silly like that for waterproofing. That greasy crap migrated into the back end of the housing and into the brush gear and caused one of them to stick back like that. It was just stuck open so there's no uh, current getting to the commutator. Uh, not sure what it really is. Shellite and just heating oil, surplus heating oil and gasoline and normal engine degreaser did not dissolve it one bit. The only thing I found that dissolves it is good old coil cleaner. So it's probably silicon based or something silly like that. But that's coming clean now. Uh, next step is to find another bearing for the front. The back bearing's fine. It has had a little bit of water in it and I'll just put it back together. It's a flange mount motor so with a bit of luck I'll find a drive, right angle drive for it and use it on my overhead crane either for winching up or just traversing the uh, saddle on the, on the uh, crane beam or something like that. Maybe just a uh, little winch for, for picking things out of the elect electrolysis tank even. Oh. There we go, all ready for assembly. Front housing probably use a bit more of a clean up, but everything else is right. Clean, polished rotor. And the housing. Got permanent magnets in it. Gotta keep one of these pullers in stock when you're working on motors. That bearing is tight. Very tight. Almost ready to run. Back together again. I'll just wire her up. Two of these are paired off because the power supply has pairs of terminals on the same bus. 30 amps, so that's a fair bit. But that's peak current, I'll be able to run it off my 20, 20 amp power supply. And that normally goes around and covers the brushes and everything. There's a size comparison with a three phase Copeland scroll compressor. <laughs> I'll just set this out. Uh, 24 volts at about, I think about 18 amps at the most from this power supply. I really need a better one. Power supply's on. Oh, we got a lot of talk from that. <laughs> okay, definitely works. <laughs> Trying to run away on me. Ooh. There we go. That's good. Got a hell of a kick. Brilliant. 